This is the Baja Racer. It's a mixed material set. <clears throat> You'll need to get the frame, the wheels, uh, which also comes with the cockpit attached, the driver's area, and the body panels. Um, this was printed and tested using stainless steel with nickel plating, um, black strong flexible plastic, blue strong flexible plastic, which is SLS style nylon. Now it's really quite easy to assemble. The tires just pop on to the axles. You'll note there's a little bump at the end of each axle which holds it on. Um, you will need to cut all these parts apart and then you will just simply little twists and push onto the axle. It should pop right on. If it does not, do not stress it and break it. Move carefully and slowly. Uh, maybe even take a drill bit or an exacto to open up that hole a little bit if you need to. But small twisting actions, push, 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 should go on. Now, for the driver's area, it's got a roll cage on it here. Um, you may need to sand or file the lower area. It has this little spring clip that goes into the hole in the center bottom here. So it should slide in there and with just a little pressure, again carefully, that clip should end up clipping into that hole right there. If you need to sand it a little bit, do a little bit of exacto knife work perhaps, or just use a sanding file. Now these body panels, they clip rather simply just to the body frame. So each one has a C-clip here, and then its corresponding body clip. So the rear big larger fins go on the back. Click to either side of the seat area. Like such. And then the front ones, they also clip um, to the front bars kind of pivot over the tire. Okay, when you're all done, you should be able to see that those fender parts will just lay over the tires very nicely. And that is your fully assembled Baja Racer. With a nickel plated stainless steel chassis and SLS nylon body parts. Remember to get all three parts or you won't have a complete set.